trouble is brewing at the Equity Group Holdings Limited owned Equity Bank over the controversial employee share ownership plan ESOP made allegations of fraudulent allocation to a selected few managers and illegal deductions. Investigations by the Informa Media Group established that the bank staff members have since staged silent boycott against the reward scheme. Citing irregular deductions on bonuses, ESOP shares, and alleged undeserved allocation to some senior managers. When contacted for comment over the ongoing ESOP impasse and staff boycott against the reward scheme, Equity Bank Group Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer James Mwangi remained tight lipped. Equity Bank introduced ESOP in 2005, a type of employee benefit plan intended to motivate employees through ownership of the company. In 2018, the High Court ordered Equity Bank to pay a former employee Samuel Gashia committee nearly 79 million shillings, which was part of the cash he was to receive after leaving the lender's employee share ownership plan in 2010. The ruling opened doors for other former ESOP members who may have also forfeited cash after the bank applied a contested law. Subsequently, in 2019, a year later, Equity Group investors rejected plans to allocate workers at the institution an additional 205 million shares worth 8.6 billion shillings to its employees through the employee share ownership ESOP. However, in June last year, the CEO announced intended resumption of ESOP reward plan to employees in bid to attract and retain its employees after dropping plans for such a scheme for three years. In a suit filed by committee, he claimed he had invested in shares that would have seen him walk away with 103 million 274,010 shillings at the time of leaving in 2010 but the bank refunded him only 24 million 330,000 shillings through a credit transfer into his account in his ruling High Court Judge Francis Tuyot faulted the bank and the trustees for changing the rules governing ESOP which effectively cut committee's entitlement without informing him in advance. Under the amended rules, he could not get the market value for his units if he resigned from the bank. The lender and trustees were well aware that the decision he was making to leave the company would have a huge impact on his investments in the units. The judge said the trustees failed to act in the best interest of committee and watched him make a decision that was obviously detrimental to his interest. The bank had explained that the variation was necessary to advance retention of employees and that it had been agreed upon to inception of ESOP. The variation had the effect of wiping out part of the accrued value of any unit holder's rights who ceased to be employed before a certain duration. Justice to Yacht. Upon evaluating the evidence before the court, concluded that the deed of variation had not been approved by March 2, 2010, when committee resigned and sought to redeem his units. There was evidence that one unit in the ESOP was equivalent to one share in Equity Bank. Over time, committee purchased 6,557,080 ESOP units, which was translated to 6 million. 557,080 shares in the bank. As at the close of business on March 2, 2010, one share of Equity Bank traded at the Nairobi Stock Exchange at 15 shillings and 75 cents. ESOPs are offered as part of long-term remuneration mechanism. Equity Group, whose total number of employees stood at 7,688 as of December 2021, said in its latest annual report that its employees held 106 million. 225,400 shares equivalent to 2.8% of the issued share capital of the company, which was then valued at 4.23 billion shillings. In 2021, Equity Bank suffered a blow after the High Court allowed Kenya Revenue Authority to collect 234 million shillings tax claim against it. Justice David Majanja dismissed the appeal filed by the bank saying the conclusions reached by the tax appeal tribunal are reasonable. The bank had appealed against a judgment of the tribunal that upheld KRA's decision to charge the bank pay on an employee's stock ownership plan, ESOP. Equity Bank lost an appeal it had filed against judgment of the tribunal delivered on December 19, 2019, upholding the KRA's move. 
KRA had carried out a tax compliance audit of the bank's records with regard to corporation tax for the year of income 2015, excise duty for the period covering August 2013 to December 2015, and pay taxes for the year of income 2016. It issued an assessment on June 21, 2017 for 1.7 billion shillings, inclusive of penalties and interest being 346 million. 147,520 shillings on account of corporation tax, 234,138,308 shillings pay, and 1,158,683,449 shillings excess duty. Equity objected to the assessment and lodged its appeal. KRA had argued that the bank operates an ESOP where employees are given an opportunity to acquire the bank's shares at discounted prices. Eligible employees are invited to take up offers when they are opened and that the shares are located and taken up are held up for a period of five years, after which the same are vested in eligible staff. According to the Income Tax Act, if the employee opts to exercise that option, a taxable benefit is conferred similar to any other employment benefit, as access to the benefit is only granted as a result of one's employment, thus can only be classified as a benefit of employment and is then subject to pay. The High Court, in upholding the judgment of the tribunal, agreed with KRS submissions that ESOP confers a benefit to an employee, and the benefit to the employee arises from the fact that values of shares, whether or not they are issued at the discount, will ordinarily appreciate at the time of vesting. The appreciation in value is the benefit to the employee that is taxed. I find and hold that tribunal did not err in concluding that equity, as an employer, should deduct and remit to the commission a tax on staff benefits under section 37 of the ITA. It therefore made the correct finding that Equity Bank is liable for pay on the ESOP benefit to its employees, Justice Majanja ruled. Stanley Lugaria, the informer, uncovering the truth.